there also exists a secret eleventh door that opens to the totality of cosmic history. As each key turns, another volume of cosmic history reveals itself. When that key is turned seven times, then the light of cosmic consciousness floods us from the inside. These doors are presented as a symbolic construct and show the nature of symbols in relation to other sets of so-called mental or intellectual disciplines. These symbolical disciplines consist of themes such as astrology, geometry, mysticism, etc. The whole of this perspective is itself a symbolic structure of the number order of ten. Pythagoras and Plato are the source of the main streams of whole number order in the Western tradition. Platonic solids are the fundamental geometric structures. Hermetic systems are evolved systems of thought that process a high degree of intrinsic coherence and that, in their purest essence, are mathematical. There is also the number system of Gematria. Gematria is based on numerical value ascribed to different letters, first through the different letters in the Hebrew alphabet, and then on to the Arabic, Greek, and Latin or Roman alphabets. The geometrical system counts from 1 to 10, and then the eleventh letter jumps to the value of 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. Then when you get to the third order, the value of the letter jumps to a hundred. For example, in the Latin alphabet, letter Z has a value of 800, letter A has a value of 1, and letter K a value of 20, because it is the eleventh letter. This was studied in depth by Aleister Crowley, who documented much of his findings in his book 777 in 1909. This is just one aspect of number, but it gives a deeper level of meaning than mere alphabetical language. However, since systems of geometria apply only to alphabet-based literacy, they are limited in the overall history of the human race. The secret eleventh door opens to the telepathic number science that is beyond history and incorporates into itself a literacy of symbolic constructs. This is the science of the mind reformulated by the law of time, a science wholly of the future.